In this video, we are going to cover another database object called views. Views are basically a virtual table which contains a SQL select statement in its definition. It doesn't contain any actual real data. So whenever you will start querying with a view, it internally executes this select statement and will find the data from some data source which this view is using. That may be a table. If it's a table, it can directly fetch a data from it. If the source of a view is also a view, then its select statement will execute unless and until you will reach a table to find the data. The main purpose of working with a view is to provide the restricted access of data to the users. For example, I have the employees table and I don't want users to see the salary of some other employees. Similarly, I may want like the employee from one department should not be able to see the department uh, employees of another department. So in such scenarios, whenever I want to provide some restricted access to the user, I can go for the view because if I directly grant the access of table, they can see anything stored in the table. So that is why we will start working with the views now. You can also perform the DML operations through the views also, but we will have a look, uh, we will see about them later on. Uh, so right now I'm going to create a view for you so that you can understand how you can start working with it. And in the select statement, you can write anything. I'm going to write a very simple query, but you can do anything in the select statement, whatever we have covered so far in the select statement like a join union things or whatever you want you can apply each and everything anything from the select statement in the views definition so let's see it practically all right so let's start working with the views now here i will create a view from this table itself so let's keep it here and to create a view again i will have to go for the create statement here the type of object we are going to create is a view so create view then view name so let's name it emp view 20 which i'm creating here in order to get all the employee details which are working in department 20 and as soon as you will do that just write the as keyword and uh, you can start writing a subquery a select statement which will be treated as a definition of this view so what i'll do here i'll write a simple query here like emp id first name plus last name as emp name i just use an expression here and you have to alias that expression because this particular exp uh, aliasing will be treated as the column name for this particular view so you have to pass this one now let's find some more fields like salary into 12 as annual salary department and so many fields whatever you want and finally from tbl employees so this is the query which i was working with now as the name says emp view 20 so i only want those employees who are working in department 20 so emp id sorry department is equal to 20 all right so let's execute this one and as soon as i will execute this you can see the view is created and here you can see the definition as well that is the EMP view 20 all right so having all these columns inside right now let's do one thing let's make a query from this view now because obviously this is the total record which I'll be getting here so EMP view 20 and if I will execute this one I will only get this much of records that is the maximum thing which I can get from this view now the question comes is why there is a null okay we have already introduced this is null method so let's add that also because maybe the last name of this employee is null so that's why and since we want to uh, change the definition of this view so rather than create I will use the alter keyword so let's say alter view and now let's execute so there is no syntactical difference between the create and alter view statement just the keyword will be changed and now you can see the details are here all are working here in department 20 so this is how you can start working with a view 
where you can put any type of SQL statement, any type of select statement as the definition of the view. And now, whenever you will assign this particular view to the uh, bunch of employees of you, they cannot see anything apart from this. As I said earlier, that you can do DML operations also through a view. I said through a view because obviously if the view doesn't contain any data, you will not be able to change that. So through view, you can actually change the data of a table, but it's very conditional. And now I'm going to explain the conditions on which the DML operation will not be possible. So here you can see the don'ts for delete. That means if these things like distinct keyword, group function or a group by clause is present in the select statement which you have used to create a view, so the delete operation will not be done if any of these things is present in the select statement. Similarly, in the update, along with those three conditions, if you have the expressions used in any particular column, then you will not be able to update that particular field of the view. And along with these four conditions, if you have not chosen all the nautinal fields in the view definition, your insertion will not be possible. So make sure that you are not following all these things if you want to perform the DML in a particular view. So let's see practically about the DML operations in views. All right, so now let's start with the DML operations as we have already gone through the key points before performing any DML operation. So let's have a look here now. If I want to put a delete operation, obviously I can do that because in this particular definition of view, neither I have used any group function or group by statement or I have, I have not even used the distinct keyword. So let's do a delete operation. So delete from EMP view 20 where EMP ID is equal to 113. So he is 113. So let's execute this one and see whether the data is deleted or not. So I execute it and you see I can't find 113 again. So that simply means it is being deleted from the table and by the time I read it again, I didn't find that. Similarly, I can also go for the update statement like update EMP view 20 set mobile number is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. All right. So I'm just setting this as a mobile number so that we can check whether it's got changed or not. Where EMP ID is equal to 105. So he is Mr. 105 and this is the mobile number. As soon as I will execute this one, the mobile number got changed. But if I will try to update any field which is being created through the expression, that is either the EMP name or salary because annual salary is nothing but an expression of salary into 12. So if I'll try to do that, I will definitely will not be allowed. So let's see where EMP name is equal to Tom Thomas. All right. So let's try. And you see, I got the error. So that is what I said. If there is any expression is used, I will not be allowed to do the updation. Similarly, you can also insert a data through this view, but only when your all those conditions are being followed. Now, here, as we have already seen that we, that we can perform the DML in the view, but we can also apply some constraints in the view so that only some restricted uh, updations should be done. For example, when I created this view, I created it for department 20. I said where department is equal to 20. That simply mean I don't want th that employee of department 20 should be able to see some other department's employee. But if I will update the department of any particular employee from 20 to 30 or to 10 or to anything, we can do that. So actually, while when I created this view, I created it for department 20 means that was the main domain on which I want to work with this view. 
I want that you can update whatever you want, but you should not be able to insert or update the department anything apart from 20. So I can actually restrict that thing by using the with check option. So let's see how we can do this with check option thing and we will also see how to create the read only views. Now let's see about the constraint. As now if I want to change the department, let's first of all search the data. Yep. So as you have already seen, like I can update all those fields in which the expressions are not used. So I can't update EMP name, I can't update annual salary, but I can update any of the other columns in this particular view. So simply I can also update this one, but that is what I don't want because as I said earlier, this is the main domain on which I have created my view. If I can't see other data, I can't obviously d change the department or insert any data in which the department is something apart from the 20 because this is the only condition which I have applied in this view definition. So what can I do is I can add this with check option thing and we'll execute it again. This is already alter view. So the definition is altered. And now when I will try to do such things like where department is equal to 30. So let's see what it, it will say. Yep. You see it got an error. We got an error and let's search the data again. You see nothing got changed. All right. 105 is still in department 20. So this is how you can validate your view with the with check option. Similarly, if I want to make my view as read only, I can do that as well. So let's see what I can do in that particular situation. Here, what I'll do is I will do a union thing. All right, because obviously I can't do anything out there. So let's have a union select. I'll take the same query here as well. All right. Now, what I will do here, I will simply say where one is equal to two, something like that, because what it will do, it will not find any data for me. All right. But as after that, it is saying with check option. So obviously both of these conditions will be focused. All right. Like for example, if this particular definition was violated, this particular condition was violated, I was not able to update the data. Similarly, this condition will never be satisfied. And whenever you will try to update the view, you will not be able to do that. So as it is updated, now let's try to do some other changes where mobile number is equal to anything like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. All right. So let's try to do that. Okay. Like you see, it is not able to update. Let's search it again and you see it is still this one. Logically, we should be able to update this one. But now, since this condition is never going to happen, this condition will never return a true. So nothing will be allowed. All right. So neither you can update or delete or insert any record in this particular view. And it is read only now.